This is the 11 pound fleece. I want to talk to you today about why I picked this fleece, um, what attracted me to it, what I looked for when looking at fleeces, um, and what you generally see at Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival when you, uh, when you look at your fleeces and pick a fleece. The first thing that you really want to look at is this yellow tag. Sometimes there are other colors, but this tag tells you um, what you're looking at. In this case, it tells me that the breed is a Cormo cross. It tells me who the farmer is that raised the sheep. It tells me how much it weighs. It tells me how much it costs. Um, and whether the, the fleece is a um, is just for show or for show and sell or for sell only. In this case, this fleece was for sell only. It was not entered in the show. I'm not really sure why. It's a lovely fleece. Um, you will also find these pink tags. Again, sometimes they are other colors. You'll have to pardon the state of my basement. Um, again, this tells me it was a Cormo Kari cross and that it's colored. In case you couldn't tell from looking at the fleece that it's colored. Um, and that it costs $10. That's, that's all I'm looking at when I look at these tags. Everyone is a little different. Some people look at these tags uh, for more information. Once I've looked at the tags, I'll look at the fleece. I'm looking at how much lanolin is in the fleece, how crimpy the locks are. Um, I'm going to pull a lock out, uh, just a lock in general from the middle. This actually is probably the one that I pulled out at the show. It's um, Cormo is usually a really greasy fleece. The Kari has really uh, lessened the amount of grease in this fleece. It's pretty crimpy. You can really see the crimp best down at the end. Uh, at the cut end of the fiber. Um, I like that it's a fairly long staple. It's a, it's, it's a very long staple and it's really springy. Um, I love the color. I don't mind the bleached out tips. That actually is an attraction for me. I like the way that that'll spin up. Um, I like that you can see down deep into the fleece. You can see that it's clean. It's a really clean fleece. The next thing that I did is I took out a lock and I spun it. I'm actually still wearing it on my on my wrist several weeks later. Um, you can actually you can see it right there. Maybe, well, maybe not. Um, it's spun beautifully. It doesn't have so much lanolin in it that it um, was a difficult spin just by itself without washing. Um, it's not slippery. It smells like a clean fleece. So that's what I was looking for when I picked this fleece. The next video that I'm going to do is picking out locks and washing the locks individually just so that I can really get a good idea of what I'm going to be working with in the long run.